Hello everyone, this is Andy from Huidu Technology. In this video, I'm going to show you one of our hot selling Huidu controller, Huidu D16. Then I'll show you how to update the program through 4G model for Huidu D16 remotely. Let's go. Look, this is Huidu D16. The maximum load capacity of it is 40,960 pixels. Let's have a look. These are the four sets of Hub 75E ports. You can use them to connect to the screen. And this is the Wi-Fi Entness interface. You can use mobile application to update the program wirelessly. This is USB interface. You can use U-Disk to update the program. And this is Nightwork port. It can be connected to the computer to update the program directly. These and this are the 5 volt DC power interface. You can choose one to supply power. These three are sensor interfaces. They can be connected to the sensors such as temperature, humidity, brightness, and GPS. And this position is for the 4G model. Normally, D16 does not equip with 4G model because different country has different 4G frequency bands and the 4G model are also different but if you want, it will be installed in advance This is a D16 control card with a 4G model installed and this is 4G antenna interface This is the 4G SIM card slot Now, let's install the 4G SIM card into it Now connect D16 to the display and debug the screen normally. Later. Now the screen debugging is completed. Let's connect the D16 to Xiaohui Cloud. First, let's register an account on the Xiaohui Cloud platform. Open Xiaohui Cloud. And fill in the blanks. If you already have an account, you don't need to do it again. Now open HD Player, click the setting and cloud serve, fill in the password. You need to type in your username and address of Xiaohui Cloud. Click OK. The green icon indicates that the setting is successful. Then unplug the network cable and the control card is connected to the internet through the 4G network. And this is the 4G indicator. When the 4G indicator is green, it means that the D16 has successfully connected to the Xiaohui cloud. Now we log in the Xiaohui cloud. We can find the D16 device in the device list. Now let's see the device list. In the device list, we can set the brightness of the screen, correct the time, view the release record, view the program information. Now let's see the program list. In the program list, you can edit the programs, publish the programs, and so on. 
Now, let's see the source. In the source list, we can upload videos, pictures, documents, and music files. Now, I upload these videos and pictures to Xiaohui Cloud. Click Upload Materials in the source list, find the videos and pictures files, and upload them. Now, all the files are completed. Now, let's edit the program. Click LED program list. Click new program. Set the program name. Click select device. Select the D16 device. And click OK to enter the program editing interface. In the interface editing area, you can add program types such as pictures, videos, texts, clocks, weather, and so on. Here we add a video area, drag the edge of the area to set the area size, and click the button to add the video files from the source list. We can also add text on the video. Click Edit Text and enter the text to be displayed. After editing, click the Save button, then re return to the program list. Select the program you just added, click the Publish button, and select the D16 device to send. Now, click Log List. The program release status can be checked in the log list, and the program can be played on the display screen when the status prompts that the transmission is successful. If you want to delete a program remotely, we can enter the details interface of D16 in the device list and select the corresponding program in the program information to delete. Okay, now there is only one program in the program list. Okay, that's it. I hope this video can help you. If you want to know more information, please leave us a message. See you.